Yo, YouTube. Looks really good. It's really good. It's really good, YouTube. Um, I'm back in the building. And um, it's the kid, Nappy Genius, a.k.a. Napoleon Dynamite, a.k.a. Right. So, um, <laughs> uh, another day, another dollar. Y'all know how it is. I'm at work. I'm still cold, but uh, I got this here heater to work in, so I ain't as cold as I was the other day. Um, finally, figured out that, you know, probably Sundays is going to be like my upload date. So y'all probably going to have like 3, 4, 5, 7, 12 videos uploaded every Sunday and shit. <laughs> um, you know, I don't really have no topic. I just wanted to talk shit until I was sick. Um, I was sitting here, right? I was having a conversation with a friend of mine, and um, we was talking about like our all-time like favorite fucking movies, right? And like, I decided like to make my list, right? Like my top ten favorite movies, like my favoriteest. Yes, I said favoriteest movie ever. <coughs> so like, I'm a sham with y'all, right? I'm sorry, I got like some kind of frog or some shit in my throat. I'm really kind of just getting over this cough, cold, change of weather type bullshit. But um, anyway, uh, my lip, right back to my lip, back to my lip. Um, and if y'all wonder why I keep looking around, it's because you know I'm trying to you know pay attention to shit because it's only like 8:30, but it's dark as hell outside. So you know, but anyway, anyway, back to the shit. Um. All right, starting off number ten, right? Now a lot of people, a lot of black folks, are gonna be like, "What number ten? Are you fucking out of your mind?" But yes, number ten, number ten is Color Purple. Now personally, I mean, it's a good movie. You know what I'm saying? It was a good movie. But it wasn't like my favorite movie of all time. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. Silly was, you know, that was my shit. You show is ugly, or uh, what else? It is. I, I can say it's like one of the most quoted movies ever. <laughs> I can tell you that shit. You so hard for to beat me. That was my shit. Oprah came busting through the cornfields and shit. Looking like just bad. Anyway, oh, uh, that's my, that's my number ten movie, The Color Purple. Number nine, right? Kill Bill. What you know about it? Quentin Tarantino fan. Like the best movie he ever fucking made, Kill Bill and Part Two. You know what I'm saying? That was like a good movie to me. I like that shit. Uma Thurman was hot in her little yellow biker chick kung fu master outfit type deal. <laughs> so that was my number nine. Uh, number eight, right? Y'all ready? Transformers. Don't even don't even bullshit me. Don't even lie and say. You didn't like Transformers. And if you have not seen it, then I don't know what to tell you. Because that's like, that was like one of the best movies I had ever seen. So, yeah, that made my, even though it's relatively new, that made like my best, my top ten, my favorite movie. Um, number seven, Dolores Claiborne. Right? What y'all know about it, right? I can't remember her, I can't remember the lady's name. But it's the lady that played in that Tyler Perry movie, A Family That Prays, the white lady. She played in uh, Dolores Claiborne. This movie was fucking awesome. It was set back in the olden days. Uh, if uh, if y'all have if never seen it, it's basically about this this lady, right, that gets accused of killing her husband eons ago, but beats the charge, right? Then is, you know, accused again, accused of, of murder again, murdering, like, the old lady that she worked for, right? So this shit is real good. If you haven't seen it, like, you should check it out. It's a real good movie. Uh, Dolores Claiborne, number seven. Um, number six, Finding Nemo. Who doesn't like Finding Nemo? I mean, it was a good-ass fucking movie. I know it's a cartoon, but, like, that's my shit. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Ellen, be generous. It's funny as hell. That, that was the shit. Ellen did that shit. Um, number five, right, Malcolm X. Right, right. Nine for nine, two for two type shit. Um, and somebody was buzzing me. Sorry, my bad. I had to, you know, because y'all know I'm doing this on my phone, so I had to make sure it wasn't like a phone call in there. Um, <clears throat> Ellen, not Ellen, fuck Finding Nemo. Um, that Finding Nemo was number six, Malcolm X, 
was number five, right? Back in the jet, like, what was that, Spike Lee, 95, 94, something like that? That was, like, one of the best Denzel movies. I, me, personally, that was, like, the best Denzel watched the movie ever. Even though the, 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 they fucking gave an, uh, an Oscar for Training Day, which, in my opinion, why the nigga always got to play a crooked-ass cop? Why you why 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 it takes him to play a, a a stereotypical African American male, you know the fucking drug dealing crooked ass cop in order for him to win an Oscar when there was you know um, Malcolm X, there was fucking countless other movies that Denzel fuck, Denzel Washington played in, but he wins an Oscar for Training Day. Anyway, that's a whole another rant that I can just go on forever and ever. Um, number four, right? Scarface. Don't hate on it. Don't hate on my man Al Pacino. Do not hate on it. Scarface is the shit. That was my number four. Um, number three, Friday after next. Come on, man. Cat Williams. Um, what's his face? Um Damon. Come on, man. Come on, man. Number two, Friday. Those two movies. Right? Those two movies. Friday and Friday after next. Next Friday was kinda lame, but Friday and Friday after next. Next to The Color Purple, probably two of the most quoted movies in the African-American society right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you got knocked the fuck out. You say that and people automatically know what movie you're fucking talking about. Chris Tucker, I mean, you know, Q introduces all kind of new actors and actresses and shit. It, it goes hard. It goes hard. And my number one movie, right, y'all ready? Y'all ain't ready for this. Hold up. Y'all ain't ready. And if you don't know this movie then you're probably too young to be watching my YouTube channel anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? I got two words for y'all. Two words. <coughs> Hold on, let me straighten my camera. There we go. Two words. You ready? Bruce Leroy. Y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready for the last drag. Y'all are not ready for the last drag. That's like my number one movie. I watched that shit over and over. Nova. I swear to God, my girlfriend think I have an addiction to the last drag because, like, I bought the fucking VHS movie, right? Then I was pissed off because I couldn't find a DVD. So I went on, like, Amazon. Um, where else did I go? Amazon before that. I went to, like, Best Buy, Circuit City before they went out of business. All kind of shit. Looking for the DVD of the last drag because that's my shit. It's even on my DVR. Don't hate on it. Do not hate on Bruce Leroy. And. I bet y'all didn't know that they coming out with a remake of The Last Dragon. And Samuel L. Jackson playing shows up. Don't fucking play with him. Don't do it. But anyway, that was my top ten like favorite movie. That was fun, huh? Um, you know, that was it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be back some more because what? 7 past 9. I'm here until 7 a.m. So, yeah, I'm going to be back. And uh, I'm going to post some more shit. And uh, we're going to do it. All right. Peace out, you